Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk you through a really simple relaxation stroke grounding technique called the 54321 technique. Now there are lots of different variations on this and you might want to adapt it to make it best suit you. Um, I'm going to talk you through how I use it. Now as with all the different strategies that I teach, it's a really good idea to practice this when you're already feeling calm um, so that you can get used to applying it and like any other skill, the more that you practice it, the easier you'll find to use it. So practice it when things are already going kind of okay and then when you really need it at a time of high stress or anxiety or maybe you struggle with things like dissociation or derealization then you'll be able to use this skill much more easily to help you stay present and grounded in the moment and to, to help relax. So the five, the four, the three, the two and the one um, it's up to you exactly what order you use them in and which one you use for what but how I use them is this. So five First of all, I look for five things I can see. So I will take a moment just to kind of anchor myself in my present surroundings and I'll take a look around. And I might say, I can see a video camera in front of me. I can see color coded books on the bookshelf. I can see a picture on the wall that was created for me by a really close friend. And so you get the idea. So you're looking around you, you're looking four things you can see, really, really simple. I start with five things I can see because I think it's the easiest. Next, I go for four things I can hear. Now you find that you're using the senses a lot here and the senses are great for helping to ground us and helping to stop us think about whatever it is that is causing us distress or anxiety in this current moment. So I might stop and, and take a listen and think, I can hear birds tweeting outside. I can hear the slight hum of my computer. So you're really just stopping, being mindful for a moment, listening to what you can hear around you. The next one is three. So I then go to three things that I can touch. And I think about things that I can touch and the feel of those things. So I'm looking often here for different textures. So I might think about the texture of my scarf. I love this scarf. Um, I might think about the texture of my scarf. I might think about the feel of uh, my skin um, beneath my fingers. Um, I might, if I were near to water, think about running my hands under a cold or a warm tap. I might think about the feel of plants on my hands or soil on my fingers. You get the idea. You might stroke a pet and think about the, the feel of that. So you're looking for three things that you can touch and thinking about how they feel, really trying to invoke your senses here. Next, I would think about two things I can smell. Um, so for me right now, that might be the rose and rhubarb uh, hand cream I have on, a new molten brown flavour. It's delicious. Now the smell here, so I have a scented candle on the go um, and that smells really beautiful. That's a poppy flavour uh, candle. And then the final one, so one, we're to one now. So we've done five things you can see, four that you can hear, three that you can touch, two that you can smell. And then the last thing, number one, for me is one deep, slow breath. So then I'm really then focusing in on the breath, taking one really big deep breath. And I might then, if I feel kind of calm enough to do it, move on to doing something like my box breathing technique. So I'll often use my five, four, three, two, one to kind of help ground me, help bring me back, help me to feel present in the moment, and then moving on to thinking about the breathing. So a really, really simple technique. And as I say, you might want to change what the five, the four, the three, the two, the one stand for. You might also want to carry a prompt around with you on your phone, maybe a little card in your wallet. But it's such a simple strategy, a really easy one for you to apply yourself, a really easy one to teach to someone else. And also something that if you're with someone who is currently really struggling, maybe they're on the edge of a panic attack, for example, then you can use this to help them move their focus away from the thing that's really worrying them. I hope you find that helpful. Again, just a quick reminder of five things you can see, four things you can hear, three things you can touch, two things you can smell, and one slow, deep breath. I hope you find it helpful. Please take a moment to comment below with how you use this strategy um, and any ideas that you have, which may be variations on this that you think make it work well for you. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please uh, subscribe if you'd like to hear about my future videos. Okay, goodbye.